Star Wars 7 by 7 episode 2742. All right, we're going to get back to our series of brief looks back at 2021 and a longer looks ahead at 2022. This time we're going to be focusing on Lucasfilm animation. Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So here we go with the animation stuff. And 2021 was a big year for Lucasfilm. They put out, I think, the most number of episodes in a calendar year than they have in quite a long time with The Bad Batch. 16 episodes of that show came out. I guess maybe technically if you think of Star Wars Resistance and you think of the end of season one and the beginning of season two maybe the episode count is similar but yeah it, it was just a huge project and a wonderful welcome debut as for season two of the bad batch it was sort of a foregone conclusion i think that it was going to happen but they didn't announce that there would be a second season of the bad batch until august of 2021 just before the season finale but ahead of that there had been interviews with jennifer corbett and brad rao who are the main drivers of the series and they were kind of coy when asked about there being a season two, but you kind of get the idea that they were already well <laughs> into the weeds with it. And I mean that in the best way, like that they were already hard at work on a season two of the show. And aside from that, things have been pretty quiet since the end of The Bad Batch. There was an Instagram post by Michelle Ong, who plays Omega on the series, where she posted a photo of her in a recording studio and you could see some Bad Batch footage on a screen in the far background. And her caption talked about tidying up stuff for the Bad Batch series. So that kind of gives you the idea that maybe, I mean, you hear tidying up and you think it's just kind of, fixing things that had already happened maybe. But the fact of the matter is, is that she could have been well on her way to voicing episodes in season two and then that's what the tidying up was actually all about. Now it kind of depends on what your sources are and I've actually been digging for this and haven't really found a great source that I like just yet. So if you have a great source on this, I would love to hear it. Please let me know, drop me a comment wherever you catch this episode or wherever you're connected to the show on social media about timetables of animated series production. It seems like about nine months for a season of an animated series sounds like a reasonable guesstimate for where things are. And generally speaking, the voice work happens in the earlier part of the production of an animated series. So there's still a lot of work that needs to happen after the voice actors have done their part. So the fact that this is the end of September and Michelle Long is doing voice work for Omega suggests that, yeah, there is still a lot of work at that time in September of 2021 to go for the production of the Bad Batch series. But what seems certain is that season two of the Bad Batch is going to debut in 2022. It's just a question of when. So this goes back to conversations that we had back in August and September about what the timing would be for Star Wars series coming out on Disney Plus in 2022. And so far things are kind of shaking out Kind of. I mean, we were projecting either the 22nd or the 29th for the Book of Boba Fett. And once we found out that it was seven episodes, that also kind of fit within the timetable that we were thinking. And right now, our thinking is that the Kenobi series is going to come next and that the Kenobi series will actually finish its run before Star Wars Celebration happens in late May of 2022. And from there, what you know, this thinking is here at Star Wars 7x7 is that the Bad Batch is actually going to get a preview at Celebration and then the first episode is going to debut on Disney Plus for the general public on the Wednesday after Star Wars Celebration. And assuming that it is a 16 episode season like the previous season was, that means it would debut on June 1st and its run would end on September 14th. And then from there, we're projecting the Andor series will come right afterward. As for other animated possibilities, well, Star Wars Visions, of course, was really awesome in 2021, but there's been 
spoken no word about a new Star Wars Vision season for 2022. So far at this point, it seems like either A, kind of a one-off thing, or B, a special project that isn't necessarily going to become an annual kind of thing. And then there's the mysterious Tales of the Jedi, which we talked about on December 25th, actually, because that logo was leaked as part of a Lucasfilm you know, crew gift, and it was included in between logos for the Bad Batch and Star Wars Visions, and so based on the layout of all the other logos on there too, it seems like this is going to be an animated project, and then it just becomes a question of what is it, and when is it going to arrive? Is it going to be a 22 thing? I mean, you know, certainly if they are only going to have one Star Wars series, either live action or animated at a time on Disney+, Plus, then there's really very little place for a Tales of the Jedi thing to happen, unless it's a YouTube specific thing. I suppose that's a possibility. But, you know, based on the title, it seems like it is more anthology based, like it could take place across the entirety of Star Wars storytelling. It doesn't seem like they would necessarily go to the Old Republic, like the comic book Tales of the Jedi that has been published previously under the Dark Horse banner, because, you know, they're so into the High Republic right now that you figure they wouldn't want to distract by going into the Old Republic with a new big thing or anything like that. It seems more like it's, you know, bound for an anthology kind of situation. But will it be animated? Seems like that's probably the case. When will it arrive? No idea at this point. But the fact that it showed up in 2021's Crew Gifts suggests that it is on the horizon. If it's not gonna arrive in 22, then chances are it'll be very early in 23. And there you go. That's what I've got for you about the look back at 2021 in animation and looking ahead to 2022 for Lucasfilm animation and Star Wars storytelling. And that is going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders, may the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.